Hey guys, and welcome to today's episode of Me Plus Everything. If you guys are new here, welcome. If you've been subscribed and already watching, thank you so much for watching. Okay, so today we're gonna do a mukbang, or I'm gonna do a mukbang, but before I get started, I wanna get to the um, giveaway. I wanna get that announced and get it done and over with. Um, I know I've been kind of putting it off for a few weeks now, but today's the day. Today is the giveaway, so here's what it is. Okay, so here's the giveaway. Here's what you are gonna win. There's gonna be two winners. First winner is gonna get a bottle of the Samyang Original Spicy Hot Sauce, along with the carbonara topoki that I did in my previous mukbang video. Go and check it out if you haven't seen it. And then the second winner is gonna win an, uh, also win a Samyang Spicy Hot Sauce bottle with the original spicy Samyang flavored topoki. So two winners. All you gotta do is comment down below which one of these you would like to win. It's either the carbonara set or the original Samyang flavor set. That's it. Oh, and also be subscribed, obviously. But um, yeah, just comment down below, be subscribed, and we'll also announce the winner on Instagram. So if you wanna know, then go and follow me on Instagram at me plus everything. I will announce the winner July 2nd. The deadline is July 1st. Okay, so if you wanna participate in this giveaway, follow the instructions. I will also leave information in the description box down below. All right, let's get to eating because like always, I'm hungry. All right guys, so here's the food. Oh my God, it smells so good. I'm so hungry. Let's get to eating. So. For today, I have some kimchi bokum, which is stir-fried kimchi with pork. Um, I did not make this. I went to a Korean restaurant, or not Korean restaurant, a Korean um, market, and I found they already had some, or like a, a pre-made package one, so I thought I'd give it a try. I have been wanting to um, make this myself. It's It seems super easy. It's just literally kimchi and like the slices of pork, so. Oh my god, I'm literally I'm drooling right now. Um, so yeah, we shall give this a try. And then I also have some kimchi and cucumber on the side. And then, because I've been craving it, I have some uh, carrot papaya here as well. Focus. Do you see? There you go. <laughs> okay, so. Mm, let's take a first bite. Ooh. Do you guys see it steaming? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. You know what? I'm gonna put some real kimchi on it as well because kimchi is so good. Mm -hmm. And you guys, I got my winning spoon. <laughs> if you guys watch a lot of mukbang, you guys know a lot of them eat with wooden spoons. I don't know why. I don't know, but it just looks good. Mmm. have a cucumber. Mmm. So refreshing. Some of you guys are probably thinking, like, so weird, kimchi 
with papaya no it is so good It's not spicy. It's actually not even like really salty. It has a good flavor. Mm, also, the kimchi. I ran out of the good kimchi from the Korean uh, market. And the Korean market, it's, it's pretty far from where I live. It's like, mm, not too far, maybe like 20 minutes, but getting off of work and then being stuck in traffic going that way, no. So instead, I went to Cup Foods. If you guys don't know what Cup Foods is, it's it's a grocery store. It's kind of like State of Bros. Yeah, like that. <laughs> um, but I was like kind of desperate for kimchi. So, and I've never bought kimchi from Cup Food before. But I went, and they had two brands. They have one that's like a Yohei, which I've tried that one and I didn't like it. And then they have, or they had another brand, which I'll post right here too. Um, so this brand was new to me, and it did look a little better than the other one. So I was like, you know what, fingers crossed, let's give it a try. And it's actually pretty good. I think it's um I think it's a, an American brand. I could be wrong, but it's not bad. Cuz I've definitely tried some before where it's like a wannabe Asian brand or something and it's not good. Like the taste was not there. It's just gross. So I'm happy. I'll probably buy it again if I'm like really desperate for kimchi, but definitely go back to the Korean market. Do you guys think I'm gonna finish all of this? I usually never do. Mmm.
So you guys, I'm watching this new Korean drama on Netflix and my husband is in there. <laughs> Long story short, let me just tell you guys, I'm into Korean dramas and when I say my husband, not meaning my real husband here, obviously. Um, by my husband Song Juki. Song Junki. He I fell in love with him in Descendants of the Sun. I remember I refused to watch that show because I don't know. I just don't really like to watch like very like mainstream, like very popular dramas. Um but then I did because I, I I think there was nothing to watch at the time, so I watched it and I fell in love with Descendants of the Sun. I've seen that drama is 16 episodes I've seen that drama like eight times literally and I can watch it over and over and over again um but yeah anyways so hold on let me take this bite first So, there's this new drama out. I've been waiting and waiting for him to come out with a new drama. And because this Descendants of the Sun was like 2016, I think. And I didn't watch it until maybe a little after or like 2017. Um, so, yeah, I've been waiting and finally. He came out with one. It's called Arthodol Chronicles, I think. It's on Netflix. Check it out. I'll post a picture here. It's kind of different. It's definitely, well, it's different. Um, and the girl from Descendants of the Sun, the second couple, if you guys know, if you guys watched it and know who I'm talking about, the chick from, or who plays the second couple, uh, Sergeant Solde Young's girlfriend, she plays in it with Song Juki. Um, and it's, it's different, like, I don't know, it, it takes place back in the old days. Like, when I say old days, it's like, like apocalypse days. Like, have you guys seen Apocalypto? That's what it reminds me of. And it's just like kind of weird to see like Koreans do that. But I mean, so far it's interesting. It's pretty good. And I've gotten my husband, my real husband, <laughs> to watch it with me too. So we're watching it right now. It's um it's still a new series, so it comes out like every or new episodes come out every weekend. That was one thing or that is one thing I hate about watching like new new dramas is because I hate waiting for episodes. Like, I just want to binge it, you know? And that's why I don't really watch American TV shows either because I hate waiting, like, every week for the new episode. I'd rather just watch it when the series is done and over with, like Game of Thrones. I'm not a Game of Thrones fan. 
But it's crazy because people I know talk about it so much that I feel like I've watched it, but I, I, I have never watched it. <sighs> Excuse me. Okay, actually, I shouldn't. I shouldn't say I've never watched it. I've seen like some episodes because I get stuck with like my family who watches it. But I'm I'm just I'm not into it, you know. Hmm. Okay, I think this is all like fatty part. I don't want to eat that. Thumbs up this video if you are not a Game of Thrones fan. <laughs> I guess I talked a lot. So the the new um, drama, Art Little Art Little Chronicles. Check it out if you like kind of like old age movies like that. You'll probably like this one. At first, I was kind of like, "What the hell? This doesn't feel right." But. My husband's in there, so I gotta watch him, you know? Oh my god, you guys. I think I'm going to finish this. I'm getting full. This is also getting cold. And um, I don't really like cold food if it's meant to be hot. Like, I can't stand it. it it's hard for me to eat. Oh my god, I just realized, oh, I forgot to do a thumbnail, <laughs> I was so excited to eat. Life of a mukbanger. 
life of a YouTuber. Darn it. Uh -huh. Bad idea. Okay, let me finish this. I think this is like two more bites. Two more bites and I'm going to finish the papaya because the papaya is easy for me to eat. I love papaya. Where I lied is like three more bites. My stomach is getting full. Mmm. One more. I don't want that. Oh my god. Last bite, you guys. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm finishing food. <laughs> Actually, I finished food before, just not like this big. This is like, this is my biggest plate in my cabinet, you guys. So, I usually add garlic, but I ran out of garlic. It actually tastes okay without garlic. I prefer it with garlic though, but it's not bad. Mm. Okay, you know what? I lied. I'm glad I can finish this. <laughs> it's good, but I'm about to fall asleep, y'all. <sighs> Alright, let's just do one more. Okay guys, so that's it for today's video. Thank you so much again for watching. If you're new, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for coming to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed what you see. Just click that subscribe button right there. 
Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And then remember, enter my giveaway if you want to win those prizes in the beginning of the video. Follow the rules. It's super simple. Last time, not that many people knew how to follow rules or directions or whatever. Just follow them. I am going to leave information in the description box down below. And yeah, I hope you guys want to win. I hope you guys get lucky. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Okay, bye.